Hello mummies, good afternoon and welcome to the 58th live session of our Rhyme Time page. I really hope that you will have some time for me this afternoon because our topic is, is so important, it's really essential and I would like to do this live in English because I really hope that you will listen to me more and that you will get some new ideas about how to create time for everything. Now, if you are watching and if you hear me well, then please send me some hearts and likes, okay? And my first question is, and I really hope that you will uh, give me some answers, is that what is the thing that you always find time for? What is the first thing that comes to your mind that happens every day? No question, no matter if it's cold or warm, sunny or rainy, if you are sick or not, what are the things? And just try to call out a few and type it, okay, send it to me in an answer. What are a basic three or four things that you do every day, no matter what, okay? Because this will be the basic where we will stand and we will build up this live from your answers, okay? And I really hope that, that you will give me some real answers, okay? Because I also have some real answers for you. Okay, Annette says family dinner, that's right, okay? No matter how the weather is, how the kids are, how you are, no matter how mommy feels, you have to make family dinner, right? Now, it might happen that you get some help, but it might happen that you are in charge, so you really have to deal with it, okay? You have to Think about it first, what the kids and you and your husband will eat, what they would love to eat. You have to think it out, you have to get money for it, you have to get to the store and take it home, you have to store it, you have to cook it or prepare it, and then you have to set it on the table, okay? It's at least six points just about family dinner okay bath time or shower time okay Rika says bath time uh, Esther says shower time so I'm thinking if it's your shower time Esther so mommy time mommy time okay we will cancel this idea of mommy time uh, okay and um, we will I read so much about <laughs> about this topic in the past few days because I really wanted to give you um, a whole picture and not only my experiences but the ideas of those who really spend much time on this topic so Esther is it your shower time or bath time means it's you know the kids again I'm sure Rika's bath time answer with the three little ones refers to to the children's bath time yeah no matter what they take a bath okay no matter if they like bath no matter if they don't want to have a bath or they want to have a bath later or tomorrow they have to take a bath right yeah okay and now Aggie's answer play with my daughter is great okay and I just want to start with this that you know uh, the title of this live is how to create time for everything but actually I just want to cancel the word everything because we really don't have to find time for everything okay to to solve all the problems of everyone around us is not our task okay we don't have to find time for everything we have to find out what is important 
and we need to figure it out how to find time for those things okay so I have a few lists with me and please just give me a few more answers okay more and more mummies are watching so my question was what is a basic thing or two or three basic things in your everyday life that you find time for no matter what okay and um, yeah as I was preparing uh, lots of uh, articles uh, and posts were from pages where they said these kind of tips and those kind of tips to find time for working moms okay and this whole idea of working moms is something that is very special nowadays on one hand it's true that you know 40 50 years ago it was different the moms were at home they didn't do any work they were just really doing all the the domestic tasks okay uh, and um, and nowadays you know the busy moms who are bored at home with the little ones they try to find out how to get even more busy busier uh, or they really have to go back to work uh, quickly or shortly after the baby was born and uh, they still have to you know juggle with all the working tasks and all the home lists and the children and not talking about the husband and yourself so I was thinking about this phrase working mom and I just really want to share my opinion I think that all moms are working moms okay staying at home with a baby is a new field for all women staying at home with more kids is a new field for each and every mom who used to have only one child and uh, doing all the homework for not only you and your your partner but for one two three more human beings it's a new field for every woman so I think that uh, a working mom or let, let me put it this way a mom is a working mom doesn't matter where she spends her time okay you are a working mom uh, because all the tasks that you do and that you think about to manage are so much more than than a daily job you know that starts from 8 to 4 p.m. so I really think that this is this is an important basic idea to to believe that all the moms are working moms okay not only those who actually earn money okay but those who are at home the stayed at home moms they are also working moms okay and um, I just want to get you a few tips and of course at the end of the session I want to show you some great books because you know we have our sale our special birthday sale because Akush is and my birthday is coming but I don't want to work on our birthday so we have a pre-sale this week for all the books that are in store so I'm sure you've seen the posts and the email and I want to show you a few books that are still on stock and I just see a few more answers on it said the walking time with the doggy that's good because at least you are outside and that's already a wonderful um, step forward for feeling good and Audrey says that quality time at least 50 minutes for each girl I mean when I talk or play with her and do nothing else okay now quickly when you want to spend time with your child and you want to get prepared for some activities you do this all in Hungarian and you're thinking about all the things that you need in Hungarian now adding this funny little extra that we call baby English is is a, re a really big extra okay and you really have to find extra time for this and I think that it really matters how how important this is for you and how um, how often you can have some some English time with your child that is not just you know playing but a little more but even you know the just playing part is perfect 
and but you have to get prepared for that okay so i think that the first step is that you just take a big breath <sighs> okay and you realize that actually everything is okay okay you just um try to feel and try to accept okay your life and uh, yeah Ancha says that quality time is the arts and crafts time for her and the premium challenge gives her lots of ideas yeah uh, it's a, it's a very great challenge that actually changed my daily routine and weekly routine with the boys as we go through 50 books in English during 50 weeks it takes a year for us with a little break so to get how to get organized right this is actually the question not to how to create time you know we can't create time we have 24 hours we need to sleep we need to we mommies need to take a shower breakfast coffee okay and it's always different for everyone what it really means to have time but i think that um you just have to take a big a big deep breath okay and um, the first thing you need is really some some time because you need time to to rearrange the things okay and um, and I really think that you need a list you have to make a list you have to write it down you either need you know some post-its or you need a notebook but you need pen and paper and you have to write down all those things that are inside of your mind and on your mind list because when you write it down it already feels better and I could show you my my notebook I have like 10 notebooks and we will we will reach this point where it says that you know what why but for example here here was my my list from August the 1st this was my daily list and you know I just put an a plus sign where when I was finished with something and already after like three or four plus signs I was so happy because I felt that you know I made something so you have to make a list because it frees your brain it's it really gives you some freedom when you write those things down and and puts everything in front of you so after you have your list you can put things into order okay and the first thing after your list or let's say okay you you take a deep, deep a big deep breath you make a list okay and then you cross some things okay i mean you cross them off it doesn't mean that you tick it with a happy face that it's done it means that you cross it off meaning that you will never do it you let it go okay there are some things that we have to let go okay so you take a deep a big deep breath you make your list you cross some things off okay and then um, you can also with this crossing you can get it like long-term and short-term plans okay and the long-term plans or things that you have to do can wait okay and then you can focus on the short-term things okay you are writing so many comments that I'm not able to read them <laughs> but um, it's good I'm, I'm so happy that we have some conversations here um, yeah so the list i think the list is really important what helps me ancha told me that i should i should talk about this topic how to create time for everything because she thinks that i can create time for everything well it's not true uh i'm i'm realizing yeah toggle toggle is a good one ancha is just writing toggle is is super cool but ancha don't don't shoot my points okay because i i also have some ideas but i'm really happy that you mentioned toggle because uh it can help those mummies who are more uh digital and who are online on their phone with their calendars and everything so this can also help you but i am a kind of person uh who is happier with a paper and a pen and you know crossing of things and then ticking the things that i've i've done 
okay and how how to plan how I plan how I schedule with my time you know we have this patchwork family did you know that it's called the patchwork family um, so our life is not easy uh, nobody's life is easy but we need lots of logistics we have a huge calendar in the kitchen everyone has their lines and the days and I have to write in everything it helps me I have to send an email reminder to my husband or put it into his Google Calendar so he remembers and um, and I just have to realize that if something comes back to my mind all the time that oh I want to do this I want to do this I want to do this but I don't find time then I really have to cross something off my list in order to have some new extra time for it okay so um, we have to call some things good it means that we just have to say that it's okay the way it is we will never find time for everything we have to find time for those things that are really important and we have to learn how to cross off the things that are not so important or we just put them on our long-term list okay and that helps already um, now as I was reading these lists and um, you know great ideas and tips two more things uh, came to me very very often one was get more sleep and this was not you know a list for parents or mommies this was a list for adults who are working and who have no children and who have free time from 5 p.m. in the afternoon until the next morning you know they don't finish at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. as you and me do you know after the dinner time the bath time the cleaning up time the story time the goodnight kiss time and you know covering the kids 60 times after we said good night good night I love you so much so people need more sleep okay now I know that there are human beings who can do with four hours of sleeping but I don't think that this is good for us okay um, I think that um, that we need at least six hours during the night but you know eight hours would be much better I know it's it's sometimes not possible when your baby is little when you're breastfeeding when the you know the older one gets up when you have to get up um, but I really think that we have to figure it out how to get more sleep okay and we have to set this at the very top of our list that we need some some more sleeping time mommies okay uh, if this is the only thing that you remember from today's live then it would it should be this one okay get more sleep okay um, if you can take two things from today then the other thing would be um, forget multitasking okay I used to be great at multitasking I can truly say that uh, with with great potential I was really great I could I could remember lots of things I, I didn't need paper I didn't need a list I had everything in my mind when I was 20 or 22 now I do need a list but what is more important I had to accept that multitasking doesn't help because I will not do anything really you know the way I should do yeah Esther would need more time to sleep oh my gosh at least 10 times during the night oh my gosh I really you know sometimes I get these messages from from you mummies and you are writing me oh my god I don't know how you're doing this for kids and the business and you are always so fit and nice and singing and everything blah 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 thank you but honestly I have no clue about how you are alive <laughs> waking up after waking up 10 times or more during the night that that would kill me but um, 
to be honest, I think God knows who can bear a little and who can bear more from something else. So we all bear on our shoulder a pack, but our pack is filled up with different things. And each of us have their own pack. And I think it's good like this. So don't like stop multitasking. Okay, this was my, my point. And I'm just checking the time and I've been talking for 20 minutes already. Now it's time for questions. Okay, if you have any questions about this topic, write it now. I try to watch the comments as well. I, I'll talk for five more minutes and then I show you some books. Okay, so um, you have to sleep. You have to stop multitasking. Okay, because I just realize it daily, you know, I'm feeding a kid in my other hand, I have my phone or in my ear or, you know, I'm doing my makeup or anything. And it's just not good. When I am with my kid, I want to look into their eyes. And I want to see, you know, the sparkling little eyes because in a few years they will not look at me. And I, I truly say this because, you know, my big boy is seven now and, um, you know, it's starting, you know. So sleeping, don't forget sleeping, forget multitasking and let go of perfection. Okay. We don't have to be perfect. We are not perfect. We won't be perfect, uh, for a while. And I think we just have to accept this. Okay. And we have to let some things go. And, you know, and if householding, you know, cleaning up, doing the dishes, laundry, and so on. If these are really important to you, for you, then involve your child, okay? And if these are not so important, then do it one by one daily, okay? Or have one day when you do everything and then forget it for three days, okay? And um, yeah, uh, with the list, I, I also have one more idea that, yeah, I read this one too and I really liked it. Turn the internet off when you are with your child okay this is also an idea how to create time for our children okay um put your phone on silent and i i've already told you this i think that you know now we have a house with two floors and when it's bath time and bedtime and story time and good night time then we all go upstairs and i leave my phone downstairs okay from eight to nine and it's a very good hour and I should do this. I should start it earlier, not at eight, but you know, at like five, when we get home, I should spend more time with them. I feel it. So the final list that I give you, clean a desk, get a notebook, get another notebook and get a calendar. Okay. Why? You need a desk where you can sit down, sit down sometimes. Okay. And I think you should have at least two notebooks, one for the everyday things and one for yourself. Okay. One, you know, just to figure out what you really want to do in the next week, in the next month, in the next six months. Okay. So try it, try to get two notebooks and get a calendar. Okay. Where you can write in the things. Okay. This helps me. And I really hope that this will help you too. Okay. Now, um, I made a list of what I wanted to say, and I think I'm finished with it, which is awesome. So I want to show you some books now. Okay. And any songs you wish mummies, I'm sure that most of your babies are sleeping. So I don't think singing is the most important now, but I can sing for you if you want to. But uh, I also want to show you some books that helped me to find some extra time. You know, Ancha said that the arts and crafts is her priority. Now, it was never a priority for me, but this book helped me because it gives ideas that I never ever tried, but it's perfect to, to try new things uh, and new things need time. And it's really good with the English because, you know, it has the full sentence descriptions. Again, the title is 365 science activities. All right. And, uh, you know, it needs extra preparation. Of course, we need to have all the things at home 
to start a new activity but we really really enjoy this book with my boys okay airplane airplane where do you fly okay yes I know which one you mean I will sing it for you okay right now so with airplane airplane you have to reach out you know with your hands okay now I don't have space here in my little corner but this is how the song goes airplane airplane where do you fly airplane airplane up in the sky airplane airplane where do you go airplane airplane let me come to okay let me come to airplane so we see so many airplanes you know up in the sky it's always good to have an airplane song especially now that we are spending more and more time outside okay now Another book, lots of things to spot at school. Now, you know, this is a browsing book, okay, which is perfect to spend some time with. Okay, this one needs time. This one needs you and your little one to slow down because you have to find lots of things, okay, at school. Now, this means that you have to show an example and if you are running around the house and inside the house all the time then don't ex expect your child to slow down okay if you slow down they will slow down but you have to show it it's the same you know then with books if you're reading books if the children see books in your hand they will pick up a book if the children see the phone the iPad or just the screen in front of you then they will want to have a phone an iPad or a screen in front of them okay and it totally isolates the family which I truly hate so put down the phone put off the internet okay turn it off and get some books instead okay now here is another one that is still on stock hopefully it was on stock 20 minutes ago when I started the live holiday coloring and activity book okay so you can set your mind on the future on summer you can get some coloring together with your child okay you can make some lovely wonderful colorful pictures and you can have some activities in it as well now I really think that if you want to find time for something this can mean two things. Either you give this book to your child if you need some time without them, or you sit down with this book next to your child if you want to find some time with them, okay? But I think that these activity books are good for both, okay? And one more that is in stock, first sticker book, first English words, okay? Now for those who are entering school, this is a good one. This is uh, with words in it, okay? So the uh, I want to show you the the sticker part, okay? So it works like this, that it has, you know, the playtime words, and here are some picture stickers and word stickers, okay? So they will need your help again, but you can uh, pronounce the words together, and you can fill up this book with stickers, you know how much children like stickers yeah and I love the book that Esther is mentioning simplified childhood yeah we have that book both in English and in Hungarian I got it years ago when I was still not a parent and um, then I bought it in Hungarian and when I was reading it I thought I, I read this already and then I realized that I already read it in English it's a wonderful book and actually you know all the the, the latest books of, of Bacardi, I recommend them, okay? I truly love them. Jól szeretni, érzelmi biztonság, you know, the teddy bear books, and now he has a lion book, you know, with plush toys on the cover page. Uh, yeah, English is just better, that's true. And I love to read in English, it really helps. So, yeah, he has some great ideas, even though that, you know, those who those parents who don't like our bilingual challenges and lifestyle they love to post some Vekedi photos with a quote on the on the bottom of the of the photo saying that 
you know, Vekhead is said that you don't have to learn English at the age of five, you have to be outside and kick the ball. And, you know, we always say it that, uh, yes, you have to be outside, you have to kick the ball, and you can do this in English as well, okay? And don't forget that Vekhead is said, and this is one of my favorite quotes from him, that by the time our kids will grow up, they will need five essential skills. And it will be the handwriting, the math skills, um, the computer skills. Oh my God, help me. One more. And English. Okay, there are some mummies from Dumango Challenge, Annette and Rika, who already read that book with me. Now help me, which is the fourth skill that I, I just don't remember now. Writing. Oh yeah, writing, math, uh, reading skills computer skills and English skills, okay? So Vekhadi says that, um, let me put it in a good order, reading, writing and math will be just as important for our children when they grow up as computer and English. Now, computer skills are just so, you know, normal in the life and in the minds of today parents okay they think that yeah i give the phone to my kid i give the tablet and oh they just know how what to do with it but english oh we have time for that well i you know i know all of you who are watching you know this that we don't have time for that i mean it's not that it should be done later we have time for it right now okay so how to create time for everything I don't have the answer. Um, you have to cross off the word everything. Then you have to say the question again. How to create time for? Hmm, for what? Make your list, okay? And again, cross off. Don't forget to take that big deep breath before you start your list, okay? So the breath, your list, and then Priorizing, okay? Long-term, short-term lists, okay? Crossing of the things, okay? And get a clean desk, clean desk, notebook for, you know, family and everything, notebook for yourself, and a calendar, okay? And the other list of three is get more sleep, stop multitasking, okay? and uh, let go of perfection, all right? Uh, I should go to every playground and tell this to all clever and kind mummies, yeah. Oh, you know what, I'm facing them daily. Yesterday I was out in the playground, you know, I posted this video for you with Adam. Today I was outside on the playground in the morning. Nobody is talking to me, even though we have the rhyme time uh, poster on the fans of the playground here. It means that those mummies know my face because they see my face every day. They go to the playground because my face is on the poster. So they know my face, they hear the English and they just turn their backs and leave. Now, why do I need this? Because just like my, my mother said last week in our live uh, session that I have a mission. I have this mission in my on my mind. I have the mission on my mind that I will raise my children bilingual. I am famous and maybe they are afraid of me. That's silly. You know, when you when you meet someone, when you see someone who does yeah, but you know it's true. My actually yeah, it's it's silly but it, it might be true. Yeah. My mom also said this last week that you know the grandparents might be negative about you know our whole bilingual journey is because they are afraid of it because they don't know how to do it they don't know why you are doing it they are afraid that you will harm your child's childhood so yeah uh, we tell you this with Reka yeah people are silly and all the other moms that um, you know those who don't talk to you and who feel kind and clever uh, they are just afraid. So what does it mean? It means that we have to start talking to them. It means something extra. 
that while I'm talking English to the sandbox where my baby boy is sitting, I will talk Hungarian to the mom standing next to me and I will share our story. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's the same there, yeah. Two bad experiences, yeah. You know, sometimes I feel like, what am I doing with these Hungarian moms? They all got these bad experiences outside of the house or maybe even inside of the house with, you know, with the bilingualism that, you know, there are, there are some who are just not happy with it. But every time you send some photos and stories and feedbacks to us, with your successes, I feel like, okay, I found my mission and I'm on the right way. So mommies, find time to make your desk empty, get a notebook, okay? Uh, walk with your eyes open, okay? And every time you see a nice little cute fancy notebook, just buy it, okay? I do this. I have so many empty notebooks, but I'm just happy because sometimes I just open a new one and then it feels good for a few weeks to grab it to open it to see all the empty pages that i will fill up with my thoughts and ideas okay so get notebooks um, and uh, make your lists okay <laughs> audrey hates the playgrounds oh my yeah i really think that we should create a place called bilingual playground and we should fill it up some someday. It's it's in the faraway future, you know. This one is on my long term list, but you know I have this mission as well that when my grandchildren will grow up, you know, in thirty years, there should be a better platform platform for this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, empty notebooks. Yeah, we should get it them. Okay, mommies, it's time to go. Thank you for your time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have one for English songs, Audrey. That's great. Yeah, have a notebook for English songs. Have a notebook for English playtime ideas. Have a notebook. Okay, this is a good idea. Have a notebook where you make some wishes of the books you want to have for your family in English the playtime ideas you want to complete in English, okay? So, these are my my ideas, okay? Get a free desk, a notebook, another notebook, a calendar, make your list, cross something off, have long-term and short-term plans, forget multitasking, forget perfection, and sleep more, okay? We will have an info pack for you about this session. Okay, I really hope that you will browse it a few weeks later. And now have a lovely afternoon, mummies. I will see some of you soon. We will have a live at 3 o'clock with Ancha in our new Dumongo group, which is starting yesterday, which has started yesterday. And we have over 40 moms full house again at Dumongo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check, you know, the birthday sale in the web shop and get the best books on the best price now, okay, with 30% off. Thanks again. See you, mummies. Goodbye.